Hey friends, Allison Hillman here. I am the Allison in BTP by Allison Been There Photography. And this is another episode of Lady Boss Branding's 321 Blast, where I'm bringing you the best St. Louis has to offer in the way of small business and local nonprofits. And today's a little bit different. Uh, I have Andy Ruzico on here from SCL TV. They are one of our local TV network information providers keeping us up to date on all the big and little that's going on in st louis andy how are you my friend doing wonderful thank you so much for having me on oh it's my pleasure so you just did a series of spotlights on area small businesses and just how they're managing in this COVID 19 time and i was actually fortunate to be one of them and so that's i've known of you for a while so that's how i kind of got to know you from there, but you wear a lot of hats at STL TV. Like some might just know you from your face, but tell me a little bit about what all you do over there to keep the ball rolling. Sure. Uh, my official title is video production specialist, but that really doesn't cover you know what I do. I some days I'm talent. I'm on camera. Uh, some days I'm just doing voiceover. Some days I'm an editor. Uh, doing uh, in the back editing suite and then some days I'm running camera but then again you could also be in the control room running sound or graphics for studio productions so it's just a wide gamut of uh, daily tasks that change every single week every single day so in other words you have a lot of tools in your tool belt is what I hear you saying <laughs> absolutely you got, you got to have to do. sharpened and ready to go because at a moment's notice <laughs> They could say, hey, we need you out in the field with a camera, or hey, uh, we need to record these spots and you're gonna be on camera. So I actually have at the studio a suit, it's a tie, just in case I need to go on camera within a moment's notice. And usually I wear jeans every day to, to work just in case I gotta go shoot camera somewhere else. Sure, it was the when I worked in corporate America, I always kept a blazer near my desk in case I had to go have a meeting with the fancier bosses than what I normally did, just in case, so I get it. So for those at home, I'm sure just about everybody has heard or seen something on Facebook or social media or whatever of STL TV, but what exactly are, what is STL TV? STL TV is the city, St. Louis city owned government access channel. Uh, so mainly our job is to facilitate getting information from the Board of Aldermen, uh, the, the mayor, anything that the city really needs to get out, we do. But we also do all sorts of other uh, sorts of programming that could appeal to anybody. Um, we have music format shows, we have cooking format shows, we have exercise shows, just a wide gamut of just about anything you can think of we do to try to provide some source of information and entertainment to the community. And I think we tell the story of St. Louis better than anybody. Absolutely. And I, I think I would agree with that. So I've seen you at Battle Hawks games back before this nonsense hit. You've been out and about it very, I've run into you guys a lot, but how has thing, how have things had to pivot and change for you all during this time? It's been a challenge. Uh, we've been also been trying to keep the social distancing um, guidelines with our station. So we shut down all studio broadcasts. Uh, we, we have not had a guest in the studio since April, uh, even just, bef just before everything hit. Um, so just uh, to, to also to give you an idea, None of us have been in, in, this, in this studio. Not the entire staff has not been in the studio at the same time since early March as well. So we've been, wow. on, we've been on opposite schedules to maintain the least amount of people in contact as possible. Um, it's, it's been a real challenge. And as you know, we've been doing a lot of Zoom interviews because social distancing as well. And Zoom interviews and other ways to try and get interviews done and still get production has been a challenge to try and uh, still keep information flowing, but, you know, maintaining what we need to do to keep everybody safe. So what's your favorite thing about what you get to do with STL TV? Honestly, it is at doing everything. You know, it is, it is the fact that I can go on camera 
and be a talent one day. It is the fact that I can go and edit something and make it look cool or go out and shoot something. It's, it's that being able to just kind of grow and do something every single day and do something you love because I've worked some terrible jobs. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's been awful. In fact, I, I was hired on at STL TV full time uh, just this past um, October. And prior to that, um, I'd been part time with them for about six years. But prior to that, I was doing a wide variety of jobs that, um, you know, call centers, um, factories, they were not enjoyable in the least bit. So coming from that to this has been a whirlwind and it's been amazing. Very cool. So now that we've gotten to know you on the STL TV side, let's jump over into our three, two, one blast. Folks, as I always say, you've got to keep business personal and that come, goes with your new source as well. You've got to find something that you, you like the inner, the on air. I don't know. I just went blank on the word thing. Yes. This is why a live video is always fun <laughs> anyway, but let's dive into these three, two, one questions. Um, the one that I always start with, what motivates you to work hard? What motivates me is just this uh, drive and passion to keep uh, moving forward and being in this industry. Uh, it's, it's been my whole life. It's been, uh, I've been chasing being in TV, radio, and film since I was 16 years old. And I've been in this business pretty much since then. I, I started uh, really using a microphone when I was in high school. It's the first time I really got on a microphone in front of a large group of people and it never stopped since. I was 14 years old, I'm 38 now. So that's, you know, over what, 20 years? That's more than of, half of your life. More than half of my life using microphones and chasing this, this industry. It's, I, I don't think that I could do anything else at this point. I don't if you took a microphone away from me, it might be like not being able to breathe at this point. I believe that. <laughs> um, what, what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Um, lately it's been water because I've been losing, trying to lose weight. But uh, if it's not water, um, let me just say, how about, how about a, a Bloody Mary? You know, I like a Bloody okay. Mary. <laughs> Where's your favorite place in St. Louis to get a Bloody Mary? Um, you know, I haven't had a good one a long, I can't even remember. Uh, I think the last one I had was at some bar that I can't remember. And, uh, I, I honestly, I, I don't even remember that. It's been so long since the bars have been open. Sure. Right. And, uh, <laughs> I don't Once you can go do brunch again, go to Benton Park Cafe. That's my favorite one in the city. So okay. shameless plug for that local <laughs> business. Um, do you have like kind of a motto that you stick to? Um, I think my motto would be just follow my dreams and uh, my other motto is just try to try to preach and live equality. I think those are the two things I live by. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? Daring thing? Um, well, I don't like heights and I don't like okay um, like a Same. lot of roller coasters, but you know, for me, again, like I said, I don't like heights and I don't like roller coasters, but for me doing rides at Disney that were terrifying to me, I think that was daring. <laughs> I'm with you. My nephew always wants me to get on those carnival roller coasters when I take him every year. And I'm like, I will stay in here and hold your stuff. So, <laughs> all right, St. Louis lightning round. What is your favorite St. Louis zoo animal? Oh, it's, it's easily the, uh, the, the bears, the panda bears, the polar bears. I love all, I don't know why. I just, for whatever reason, I wish I could own a, like a panda bear or a koala bear or something like that. So it's it definitely the polar bear. He was one of my favorites. I think he had recently died, but. Uh, they still have one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, um, I'll say that one. Cool. Um, what's your favorite St. Louis restaurant? or a couple like okay. which one are like if you were thinking about what which one you cannot wait to go back and visit when all of this is over where is it um let's see i mean it's, 
I really like uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know why. I just do. It's just a good okay. place to eat. And eat. Um, um, I guess it's really boring, but um, uh, there's there's um, this place I'm thinking of that uh, had this really amazing uh, beef tips. Um, you know, I, I want to say it was Agliano's. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's great Italian food. It was, it was fabulous. So I, I'd say that one. All right. You have family or friends that visit St. Louis and they say show you that ha they want you to show them the city. Where are you taking them? I would say Milo's uh, to play bocce ball. Uh, okay. It's one of those hidden gyms that, you know, it's, it's a really fun place to play and drink and have a good time. And not a lot of people hang out there yet. It's, it's kind of under the radar. Um, I would take them to, well, obviously the new attractions at Union Station, the aquarium, the um, you probably go to the city museum because it's one of a kind. Uh, you can't get that in any other city. Mm -mm. Um, and personally, I'd have to take them to the arch because I have a secret. I've also never been inside the arch. So I would have to take somebody to the arch that's never been there so I could go to. I think I see a story idea for you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would, pay, actually, I might even pay money to be a fly on the wall for that one since you're scared <laughs> of heights like me. Andy, thank you so much for joining me. Folks, this has been another episode of Lady Boss Brainings through to one blast. Remember, when you're supporting local and shopping local, every time a small business owner makes a sale, they do a little happy dance. So make sure you're supporting local and putting a little groove back into our world. Have a great day.